What is a ganglion cyst? It is an outpouching off of the synovial joints or even the sheaths around the tendons that comes out, usually off of the joint, and it is movable. So if we look at the back of the wrist right here, maybe you can see it in contrast a little bit better right there. This looks like a large growth sticking out the back right here and people are just, oh my gosh, what could this possibly be? If I take and I move it around from side to side, you can see that it's mobile, right? You guys can laugh when you're watching this if you want. Okay, everybody's seen the movie Aliens where the, uh, where, where the animal comes up through the stomach and is moving around like this. <laughs> That's what everybody visualizes. This is quite a large ganglion here, but it's totally normal. You can take and move it around. It has good mobility. I can squeeze it. It's fairly dense when you push on it, all right? And they most commonly happen on the extensor and flexor tendons of either side. So, just one last thought. This is what you'll do with every patient. If you're any kind of health provider, you'll go ahead and shake their hand. You'll be like, oh, wait a minute, look at this. And you'll have a look at it and start moving it around so you'll progress right away into your assessment of what's going on. Again, <laughs> ganglion that you can move around nicely. <laughs> it's funny to watch some of you guys in the back. Okay. Oh, okay. It's, okay, it's totally normal and you can squeeze it and feel it move around. When I was first into practice, I would see this and be tricked by it. I'm like, oh man, they've got to have a carpal bone out of place. Totally not. I would get them ultrasound and x-rays and to a person, it was always just a ganglion cyst, ganglion cyst. Can you take the fluid out? Yeah, so you could do a needle aspiration if you wanted to. There's a Bible treatment that I do not recommend at all where you hit it with a big book and it's supposed to explode it. Oh. Don't do that, okay? A needle aspiration, you put a large gauge needle in and you pull the fluid out. It's quite a thick fluid, but the issue is that the return rate is pretty high on that. Oh. Yeah. Do they ever do surgery? Yeah, there can be surgical incisions, or excision, especially if there's lots of irritation, but it's the same thing, they tend to recur. All right, but if, it's, if this was getting in the way of him being able to do certain activities or actions, then yeah, you might want to look at surgical interventions. It's a minor surgery, so it's relatively quick. All right. Cool.